G'day guys, what's going on? It's been a while since I've done a bit of a video, but I've got some exciting news and um, some exciting plans for over the next... Whew, I've got to wait one more day, but for the next, who knows how long this is going to take me, um, three to five, six, something like that days. Uh, I'm currently staying in an Airbnb and um, yeah, well anyway guys, I should just get to the point. I've got a bike packing race. This is my first ever bike packing race that I've ever done. It's called the Vic Divide. It just runs from one of the outer suburbs here in Melbourne and it goes via Mount Buller to Aubrey, uh, right on the Murray River up there. So it's like 573 kilometers or something like that with about 11,000 meters of climbing. So a, a bit of climbing in that one. And it's, it's a completely different structure to what I'm used to. I'm used to the adventure, more relaxed style of riding where I just take in the sights. This is kind of like hard yak stuff where you're sacrificing things like sleep, maybe sleeping for four hours instead of getting a full night's rest. Um, and the gear is very limited as well. So my bike's out here. I'm going to do a video on that. We're going to pack pack through that and show you guys what I'm taking. But I've already done a video on this bike when I first picked it up. I've been riding it for a bit. Um, it's been awesome. So that's the Kona Sutra LTD. Um, bloody lovely bike, but I'm not sure. I'm having some doubts that it's an appropriate bike for uh, for this route. However, we're gonna find out, aren't we? So they say like a minimum tire size for this sort of track is 2.2 inches. Mine's uh, 50 mils. So I think, I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's just under two inches or something like that. So, you know, and most of the bike setups that I've heard from is that most people are, are riding, they got like suspension, you know, sort of mountain bikes and stuff like that. Uh, flat bar mountain bikes, but we'll see what happens. Um, right now, I'm about to head out to Curve Cycles uh, and do like a pre-race sort of meetup. We get the spot tracker um, so I can track... Um, you know where I am and stuff like that for emergency purposes and also so they know who's in, in front and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to head down there now. I'm going to eat a lot of food tomorrow to carb up for the starting line. And then I'm also going to bake potatoes. I'm going to take advantage of this kitchen that I have here um, and just cook up heaps of stuff. Um, so then I can pack it into the bike. Because I have some spare room, I've got this full frame bag that is almost empty, so that's real estate there for food. And then I also have a dry bag that'll go on the handlebars here as well that's in this bag for extra storage, so I'll be set. Um, we're going to unpack it. I've packed it up and it's all ready to, to rumble, so we're going to unpack it. Um, and I'll show you guys what I'm taking, food and everything. Now, to be honest with you guys, this is... Definitely not the lightest bike setup, and it's not the lightest in the field. I did uh, weigh this in without any food. I'm using like the the frame bag just for food, and the handlebar bag just for food, and then in the back I've got just camping stuff and warm clothes. Um, that's pretty much the setup in a nutshell. But without food in here and food in the front, um, it was about 22 kilograms. However, we just put food in here and uh, it's very heavy now. Um, but I've done a bit of uh, bike packing meal prep, as you guys will see. Um, but let's get into it and we'll unpack everything and I'll show you guys what I'm taking on this adventure. All right, let's start with the top tube bag. This is just snacks that are more easily accessible than what they would be in the frame bag. So, um, I've got some bars here, and then I cooked up a heap of potatoes, um, and we've got baked potatoes, so they're just really good to snack on, you know, keep the carb supply up. Um, that's all that's pretty much in there. Um, and then here we've got some electrolyte drinks, Powerade, and there's also a Gatorade down here as well. And then I have my water bottles. These are um, 1.5 litre water bottles. Anyway, guys, if you want to check out any of the stuff that I'm showing you here, it'll be all linked down below, just for reference. Um, let's work with the handlebars still. I'm taking this thing. This is the Wahoo Element Roam. Uh, this has the Vic Divide route already on it. So all I have to do 
is just download that route um, and then you know just press start and follow it turn by turn so that's amazing and that has about a 17 hour battery life and then we have a light just a simple light and then moving over to the handlebar bag I got this restrap handlebar bag which is actually pretty cool I like the design and this and the style um, and the functionality of it too because it's pretty cool it comes with this little accessory bag and then it also has like a handlebar harness set up which attaches down here and then that has a dry bag in it as well now the dry bag capacity this is a 14 litre one so it, you know it can come all the way out to here but I just pack lighter food in this one just so it wouldn't sag as much so there's more bars and stuff we'll get to that in a, in a second but the accessory bag is like a magnetic thing so it's really cool I'm kind of showing you guys the product as well as what's packed um, that just comes off it's also hooked down the bottom there to stop it from flapping about then you can just chuck it back on there like that but um, let's show you guys what's inside this okay so um, got some vitamin B12 lip balm um, these are pretty much key I found out uh, for drinking water up there um, I think it's just just before Mount Buller you can drink the water in the streams and stuff but it's best to use these purification tablets just drop one of these in one liter of water and leave it for about half an hour and you should be good to go um, this is also a key as well because I don't have the dynamo hub set up on this at the moment a portable battery pack charger thing um, that that's also comes in handy to charge the phone and the GPS as well and then we got the wallet um, and then also this is another thing that's key as well is the spot tracker so this can uh, send out SOS signals and it just um, keeps the you know your progress up to date and it just shows everybody where you are in, in terms of the race now I'm not going to be racing I know some of the guys there are trying to do under 48 hours and stuff which is really cool um, this is my first bikepacking race so I'm just going to take it easy and just um, make it more of an adventure and be more of a sort of social ride I've got some Penadol in here as well headphones and then just spare cords and spare SD cards there as well um, let's get into this dry bag. Alright, so here we got more food. So we've got peanut butter sandwiches, pre-made, ready to snack on. Um, got some hot cross buns there as well, cliff bar, and then just a heap of like oat bars or muesli bars. Moving on to the frame bag. And this is just more food, guys. So I've just got fruits, got oranges, got bananas, some more peanut butter sandwiches. And then this is where my stash of uh, roasted potatoes are, ready to snack and go. So, yeah, I've got quite a few potatoes in here. I think maybe 12 to 13 potatoes. It was a kilo, I brought a kilo of potatoes, so hopefully they weigh a little less when you cook them, so that's always good. But as you guys can see, I've got a heap of food, so too much food probably, because you can resupply, there is resupply points, but um, I just kind of like having food on me so I can just keep riding. Definitely is gonna weigh me down though, so that's the price I'm paying, but um, got a fruit mix here as well. And then I've got a pump, and also a spare tube in there as well. And that is what's in the frame bag. Right, saddlebag time. So, we've got a lot on the saddlebag. I'm taking a nice comfy mat, inflatable mat. I like my comfort. Um, got the snapback hat. But let's get into the bag. This is clothes and camping gear. So, um, let's get this open. There we go. So, we've got down jacket, spare underwear, um, Travel pillow, got to have a pillow, socks, and the trusty old sleeping bag. It's just a summer sleeping bag, it's probably going to get cold up there, but with the combination of pants, sleeping bag, and a bivy that sort of does well with insulating heat, I think it should be fine. And uh, yeah, that's all that's in there. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's uh, my bike touring setup for the Vic Divide 
right there. Um, and I'm going to have to repack all this again because I'm heading out uh, tomorrow morning. So but thank you guys for watching. Um, if you did enjoy the video, give us a thumbs up. And um, if you want to check out any of the stuff that was in the video, it should be all linked down below. So thanks guys for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.